What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well and the opera has returned. The Phantom is back and he's brought some friends with him. So we've got a few new heroes in this portal, including Odile and a couple of other heroes to have a look at today. Um, so I'm pretty excited about some of these new heroes. Uh, we're going to jump straight into the portal right now and we're going to have a look at who we've got. No new four stars. Really unfortunate again. Unfortunately, there are no new epics in this portal, but we do have three brand new five stars. So we've got Daroga, Meg, Geary, and Odile to have a look at today. And they are all featured, which is pretty decent. So not featuring any of the older heroes. We're going to go ahead and we'll start with Odile since she seems to be the face of this portal. So first of all, she is a dark hero. Very, very popular color for tanks. So we'll see what she's doing. Um, I can see right away that she is of the rogue class. So that is pretty decent because she gets the chance to dodge, which is awesome. She looks amazing as well. I love the dress. Um, she's definitely gotten dressed up for this portal. Um, and she is of the opera family. So just for a quick recap on the opera family heroes they get a bonus for one two or three heroes and it's anywhere from five percent to fifteen percent attack defense and hp on your team so it is a very straightforward stat boost in terms of their family bonus but you know what we can always do with a stat boost we always want our heroes to be stronger um, so that family bonus is pretty good um, and of course they have perks in the secrets of the opera event which is currently ongoing now, Adil has got two passives. The first passive is going to be a resistance against defense ailments. So this character has an innate resistance against status ailments and negative stacks that affect defense. It doesn't apply to status ailments that affect elemental defense. So you cannot put defense down on Odile. She's just going to say no every single time. You cannot give her a defense down stack either, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think that that does work against the wither from the goblins. It would be kind of nice if it did, um, but maybe that's asking a bit too much. But for the most part, defense down will not work against Odile. Um, it's quite interesting that she gets the defense up either the talent as well because that's kind of a counter in and of itself um so at the start of the battle she gets 20 percent increase on her defense for six turns makes her very survivable so that is awesome now the second passive for odile is that this character receives five percent health every time a status ailment expires or is cleansed removed or reallocated from them and this effect can activate only once per turn it is kind of a niche effect so just a mini heal whenever a status ailment expires or is cleared i'm not too big of a fan of that i think the family bonus is awesome and the first passive is awesome but the second passive we could really do without it's not that great um now moving on into her stats let's switch off the max power preview we can see she's running a very respectable team power of 1023 she has 1065 attack 953 on the defense and 1849 on the health so some absolutely massive figures there for her on her stats now her special skill is running at super duper fast uh, now it's just fast not very fast uh, but it's called the dance of the black swan um, which is pretty cool sounding. Um, so at fast speed, Odile is going to boost the health of all allies by 475. That's a really good health boost for a hero running at fast speed. Now, of course, she we know the boosted health can exceed max HP, but she casts the Dance of the Black Swan to all allies, uh, but the caster for the following four turns. All of the existing status effects get removed when the effects added. So basically, it's a team wide cleanse um, and she casts the Dance of the Black Swan. So what is the Dance of the Black Swan? Let's find out at the end of each turn. Each dancer deals 155% damage to a random enemy and boosts the health for themselves with 25% of total damage dealt. That's pretty cool. So it's kind of like a sort of um, dark feather type effect um, where every time they deal... Um, at the end of each turn, uh, the dancer deals damage, but it does apply to every single one of them in the row by the looks of this. So every turn, each 
ally is, or each ally that you have, if you have her on your team or each enemy, if you're facing her, is going to be dealing 155 damage to a random enemy. That is pretty cool. It could be really annoying as well because they're boosting the health uh, for themselves by 20% of the total damage dealt. So she is just fantastic so far in terms of healing and in terms of increasing survivability plus there's a little bit of damage going on as well which can be really frustrating um, she then also gives immunity to new status effects uh, new dance status effects will replace this effect so just bear that in mind if you have more than one hero that's giving a dance effect to your team uh, if you use somebody like guardian gazelle for example it's going to replace this effect so you may or may not want to take advantage of that uh, just beware um, the effect cannot be dispelled. The effect is only removed when the cast is defeated. So this, <laughs> hey, this here is going to be pretty difficult to deal with. I can tell you that right now. Um, you know, the damage might not seem like a lot, but the fact that it's triggering each turn from each ally for 155% damage, if you want to add that up, that really does add up over time. And remember, the effect cannot be dispelled. So you're taking like an extra slash attack and a half from every single one of the four allies that are dancing except for Odile. So this is really a case where if she fires off, it's kind of like Guardian Gazelle. You just really want to target her and you want to kill her as quickly as possible. Um, but the problem is that when she triggers, she boosts her own health as well by 475. And on top of that, she gets the passive where she resists defense ailments. Um, so you can't put defense down on her to, to get rid of her the way you really want to. I would say probably the best counter to go up against her uh, will be somebody who gives an elemental defense down, maybe a holy hero. And then you want to follow up with a really hard whack, you know, just kill her as quickly as you can because otherwise you're going to be taking damage from the whole of the enemy team so a fantastic hero i think she could actually work really well on defense um, i think she'd maybe make a pretty good tank as well although i'd probably want to put her in the flank position just to protect her a little bit more um, we've already gone over the ether talent but in terms of stats they're just mahusive <laughs> um, so yeah a fantastic hero to start what start off with in odile uh, now, moving on to our second hero, we'll go down the list as is. Uh, this is Daroga. Um, so Daroga is a nature hero. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Maybe he's like... Um, like the usher i don't know what he is anyway um he is of the monk class so he gets a chance to uh, withstand um 30 percent chance to resist negative status effects pretty decent same family bonus so we won't go over that again um and in terms of passives he has a resistance against attack ailments um so this character has innate resistance against status ailments that affect attack i'm not as big of a fan of this as I am of the defense resist um, but it is still a pretty decent uh, bonus that he gets because he resists ailments that affect attack um, and it does come into play with some heroes I'm just as I'm looking at this I'm thinking about um, somebody like Erlang Shen and replacing his effect I think that's a bit complicated to get into just for a passive um, but it's there and it does its job um, and then he also now he gets a heal when status ailment expires or is cleansed uh, but he gets a 20% health that's interesting um, let's just go back to Odile quickly so she gets uh, the, oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Heal when status ailment expires. So the character receives 5% health every time a status ailment expires or is cleansed. Um, and he, funnily enough, gets 20% uh, health. That seems a bit unfair. <laughs> He's running at the same speed. Uh, but anyway, that's what he gets. So each time a status ailment expires or is cleansed, he gets 20% health. Um, that's pretty cool. I do like that a lot more. I mean, 20% is a heck of a lot more than 5 um, so yeah, that, that I can give him as a pretty decent passive. Uh, now let's move on to his stats. In terms of his, uh, his stats, he is really very balanced. As you can see, 1065 attack, 1062 defense, and 1623 on the health for a total team power of 1022. So hats off to you, Daroga. You're doing all right. Um, his special skill is called Echoes of the Opera, and he is running at fast speed. So he deals 485% damage to the target. The target then receives 1,245 bleeding damage. Not bleed damage, 
bleeding damage, which is interesting, over three turns. <coughs> Pardon me. That is a lot of bleed damage. And if you do uh, add limit breaks and emblems, that can get up to 1,569 bleeding damage over three turns, uh, which is awesome. I mean, that is about an easy 500 plus per turn. Um, and this effect spreads to the nearby enemies. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, that is pretty cool. Um, and he gets a stack, uh, which is all allies get plus 25% attack. Um, so in a similar vein as another hero that we've had from this portal, I just want to check on good old Furman Richard for a second. Sorry to go out and back in. I just want to make sure. So he gets uh, all allies get 20% attack stat. He is running at very fast speed, um, but then they also get a defense stack as well. And I do like Furman Richard. So I think I'm going to like this same effect with this guy, even though he's running at a slightly slower speed. He gives that attack stack to all and stacks can't be dispelled. So he increases the attack and it's just going to stick around. If he fires off twice, Twice, that's increasing the attack of all allies up to 50%. If you manage to get him off a third time, that's increasing up to 75%. And that is, you know, that's some team destroying territory right there. Um, so I like the amount of damage at fast speed and with that high attack stat he, he's going to hit hard um he is a single target sniper um, but with the bleed damage spreading to the nearby enemies, that is going to be just absolute destruction um and it spreads um i mean you you want to have a cleanse available if you are going up against this guy because if you allow that to spread for more than one or two turns it's going to be very very difficult to come back from um so as a hitter as a specialist in terms of damage over time um if you want somebody to pair up with this guy i would say you're going to need a dispel first uh so somebody like phileas fog would be a good guy to pair up with him uh, because you dispel from the single target you then hit that target and just watch the bleed damage or bleeding damage spread and kill everybody in its path fantastic hero really um yeah an, another fantastic hero from this portal i would say they are both um within some of the better heroes that we've seen released from this portal and now we get on to our lovely lady meg geary i mean she looks like a weird kind of pixie i don't know who how they've let her into the opera in fact i've just noticed the pixie is on all of these heroes except for the Except for the guys, I don't think, uh, yeah, Phantom of the Opera's got them as well. What's going on? Um, anyways, um, so Meg Geary is our holy hero. Um, she is of the Paladin class, so it's a, quite a good class. It gives her an increased defense for two turns after receiving damage. Um, she also shares the same family bonus, which we won't go over again. And she shares the same passive, uh, the resistance against attack status ailments that we just saw with our other fellow. Um, and then the heal. Again, another change. Uh, so this character receives 10% health every time a status ailment expires or is cleansed, removed or reallocated from them. It's just strange that they've done that where they've changed the... Um, the amount of healing they receive for different heroes i really don't understand that um maybe it's got to do with the ether talent i don't know um so in terms of stats for meg geary let's switch that off for a second she is more defensively built which i think is appropriate for her um since she is a healer um so she gets 933 on attack 1007 defense and a whopping 2055 on the health so she's going to be pretty difficult to kill um, and her special skill is at average speed and it's called Deceptive Small Talk. I love that title. I think it just, I think, I, I think it really is appropriate for her. Um, so let's have a look and see what she does. Um, so at average speed, she's going to recover 60% health for all allies. Just a massive team-wide heal. Cleanses the latest status ailment from all allies and gives to a random target in the enemy team. Um, so like a Lady Loki type of effect, um, where she's just giving these horrible ailments that you've got to the opposition team. So I do like that as well. And that massive heal up front is awesome. Uh, all active status ailments are un... Oh, shit. All active status ailments are then uncleansable for all enemies for the remaining turns on the status ailment. 
That is huge. That's the first time we've seen that effect. So if you've got some kind of massive bleed damage or burn damage like what we've just looked at um, and you throw that back on the opposition team, you give yourself a massive heal and then they can't cleanse it for the following, um, well, for the remaining terms of the status ailment. That is big. Uh, that is really big. I love this hero. Um, and all allies get an increase of 60% defense for four turns. Man, we have a contender, I think, for one of the best healers. I guess the only sort of slight downfall I can see with her is that it says she cleanses the latest status ailment uh, from all allies and not all status ailments. Um, but that really is only going to be coming into effect very, very seldom because how often do you have like three or four status ailments on you? Um, unless you're super unlucky. Uh, but I do like this hero. I think she is going to be an amazing hero. So congratulations if you do manage to get your hands on Meg Geary. Um, and Ether talent wise, she gets the defense up as well. And you know that you know by now that's one of my favorite Ether talents. So absolutely amazing, fantastic group of heroes that we have in this portal. And just before we end, um, I want to sort of reveal this to you guys. I was super lucky this morning um, and I did four coin pulls in this portal um, and I was lucky enough to get my man Daroga. Um, so yeah, he is, uh, he's joined my roster and I am very excited about it. And like I said before, I think he's going to be best friends with my man Phileas Fogg. I've been trying to find a place to use him. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited to see how this guy performs. Um, yeah, I, I just think these opera heroes are getting better and better. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I think this, this, this hero portal is really good, actually. I mean, don't go crazy. Like I say, if you summon a few times, just stay within your means. It is only a 1% chance for the legendary featured hero and then another 0.3% chance for another event hero. Um, so yeah, please, uh, buyer beware on these things you can absolutely lose your mind in these portals if you're not careful um, but with that being said um, please do let me know your thoughts on Odile on Daroga and on Meg Geary um, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about these heroes um, please also do drop us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you don't want to miss any future videos um, but that is going to be it for now so I wish you guys everything of the best and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.